10 most ridiculous billionaire homes. Most people just want enough money to be comfortable, but wealthy people take comfort to a new extreme and flaunt their luxury with extravagant purchases. Today, we're looking at things only the richest people have in their home. Water park in the back of your house. People say that everything is bigger in Texas. And when it comes to this Dallas mansion, that old adage is absolutely true. This house hit the market in 2017 with a jaw-dropping asking price of $32 million. Wow! Dude, it's already way too big, though. How many bedrooms do you think this house has? They got nine garage doors in this. Like, this is what I... Like, if I was that rich, I would never want a house this large. Like, I would want a nice a nice house but this is too big like there would be days where you haven't even gone into this section of the house the 37,000 square foot home sits on four acres of land it has eight bedrooms and 17 only eight bedrooms bathrooms oh, 17 bathrooms so i could take a in a new bathroom it would take it would take me like th four or five days a week maybe to in every bathroom one time addition to many ornate chandeliers, fireplaces, gilding, a full-size indoor basketball court, multiple wow. game rooms, including at least one bowling alley, and a 10-car garage. But the real attraction is the fully functional water park in the backyard, perfect for cooling down on hot- No lie, though, I feel like this is kind of a additive. Like, I know if they have cool, like, like kids, that's cool. Wouldn't you guys get bored of the same slide over and over and over and over? Like, that'd be like going to the same water park every day. Like, eventually you're gonna... A lot of you guys are saying no. I would get bored as... Like, if you did the same, same two slides 40 times... I'd be like, dude, this is already boring. Hot summer days. The park comes with multiple pools, cabanas, and slides. As if this wasn't enough, the property has a waterfall, palm trees, rock formations. They got a lazy river in that bitch. No way they got a lazy river. Palm trees, rock formations, and a tennis court. Whoever moves into this house will certainly be the most popular person in the neighborhood. Can you imagine what it would be like to live in a $12 million Tribeca loft in New York City? How about one with an all-gold bathroom? This one-of-a-kind property was recently highlighted by architect- That's literally fuck you money. That, I, like, I know these are billionaire houses, but that's just the definition of fuck you money. Having a golden toilet? Like, what is the fucking purpose? There's no need, and in all honesty, it kind of looks ugly. Actual digest in a short video, wherein hosts- Pooping on gold. Steve Gold walked through the amazing home. The 6,000 square foot loft was recently gutted and fitted with all new appliances. With three beds and three and a half baths, there is a ton of space, especially for Manhattan. The house is partitioned into different rooms to create privacy, including a high art sculpture that the builder picked up from Art Basel. Each piece of furniture is custom designed and a Greco-Roman theme persists throughout the apartment. There is a Louis Vuitton hammock in the main room, in addition to a full wet bar. The bedrooms are all covered in gold leaf and the bathroom is solid gold. That bed that bed looks like where a serial killer would fucking cut my head off. This fucking weird Victorian bed. Like they would lure me into their house and then fucking slit my throat. Put my head in a box. Bedrooms are all covered in gold leaf and the bathroom is solid gold. Obviously the owner is a huge fan of gold because they also offer solid gold weights and a gold punching bag. I actually think that's fake. If I'm being real, I think, I, I actually think the billionaire cheaped out on that. That's not solid. Wouldn't it? Isn't gold really dense? Like, and, and also really, like, forming? So if you dropped that dumbbell, it would just break it. It's pro That honestly just looks like a steel dumbbell that somebody spray painted with gold spray paint. So offers solid gold weights and a gold punching bag. Unsurprisingly, the flat used to be an art gallery. It's gold plated? That's just fucking stupid. Before it was converted into a luxury home. One Peter Island is an exclusive address that is just a 15-minute helicopter ride away from New York City. Not only does the home cost $13 million, the owner wow. will need to be fully loaded to afford constant chopper flights to and from the city. According to an expert, helipads are both luxurious and practical. Security has become such a prevalent issue given the turmoil across the globe. And having a helipad gives those looking for added security the comfort of knowing they can evacuate in a fraction of the time it could take the average person, says well, just don't be a billionaire. And people won't want to fucking kill you. <laughs>
you can be rich and people won't bother you, right? You could have like $40 million and people won't care, right? But like, if you're, if you're worth a $1,000 million, that's when people are like, okay, dude. Agent Damian Nelson of the agency. The island itself is 11 acres in size and situated in New York's very private Lake Mahopak. The estate comes with a helipad, pool, spa, guest house, tennis court, shooting range, outdoor kitchen. And Why do rich people like tennis so much? Tennis and golf. Tennis court. Wow, they always got a tennis court. How fun, right? Get some cool shit. And a four bedroom, five and a half bathroom house. Other luxury features in the mansion include a plush home theater, an elevator, a gym, an entertainer's deck with a spa and barbecue, and a state of the art security system. State of the art security system. You live in the middle of a fucking island. Back in 2019, a $23 million mansion made headlines all across the world. In this case, the house failed to garner attention for its incredible amenities. Instead, it was rented out by former First Lady Michelle Obama. The Obamas currently maintain a home in the Calorama neighborhood in D.C., but Michelle has been flying all over the world recently. The First Lady stayed at the 13,000-square-foot mansion while in Los Angeles for meetings with Netflix over the first couple's multi-year production deal with the streaming giant. The deal, reached last year, is for the Obamas to produce a variety of scripted and unscripted content. The palatial seven bedroom, 12 bathroom abode is truly one of a kind. According I would to never leave my house. If I, if I rented like an Airbnb that was this large, I would never venture anywhere. I would straight up stay there the entirety of the fucking trip. TMZ, the house has never been lived in, with just a few lucky guests being given the opportunity to rent the property, which is nestled in a sought-after section. How much do you think that shit costs to rent per night? Of Doheny Estates. A grand. 1,800 square foot home features walls of glass, which offer jetliner views of the city. Although the house is not public. Probably like 2K. I got an Airbnb with my friends one night, or not one night, last year, I got an Airbnb with like 10 guys that was like a grand. It was like 100 a person each night, but it was 1,000 just for the house. So something in the fucking like California hills, dude, that's probably like three or 4K a night. Publicly available to rent, it may be that Michelle was given the opportunity to stay there for two nights free of charge as a means of getting to know the sprawling mansion in order to decide whether she might be interested in making it a permanent part of her property portfolio. Unlike their relatively modest house on the East Coast, the Shark House comes complete with an array of Los Angeles-centric amenities. In addition to the 300-gallon aquarium, the home also has a living wall canopy to offer the ultimate zen- What if you fall into that bitch? Do those sharks bite? Like experience. In 2018, shortly after the mansion had been completed, property website Curbed reported that the two feet deep shark pool was inhabited by an array of species, including eight stingrays, three hound sharks, one remora shark, one horn shark, uh, 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 stingrays, three hound sharks, one remora shark. They can't kill you that fast? Yeah, I know it's two feet of water. That thing could still fucking bite you. One horn shark, one cat shark, one starfish, and three yellow one starfish you're a fucking billionaire house one starfish come on man tank fish yet another one Brookline, Massachusetts is home to numerous mansions. One was recently finished in 2019 that was dubbed the Ferrari of Homes, costing a mouthwatering $13 million. The 7,450 square foot estate sits on half an acre in the affluent suburb of Boston. This is the nicest interior. You will never catch me buying a mansion in Boston if I win the lottery. What the fuck? Out of any, yo, I'm not even shitting on like Boston, right? But out of anywhere I would buy a mansion, why the fuck would I buy one in Boston, Massachusetts? Here, with the most opulent finishes listed in Brookline, the listing state. 13 mil. This just looks like a, 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 a really big regular home. If you want to own a regal property, look no further. Amazingly, the property is home to more than $1 million that fridge is insane. worth of windows and doors, far exceeding the price of the average one-family home in America. This is in addition to $600,000 in marble tiles and $125,000 in appliance. Yeah, no, that's how I know. How, that's, that's a good house. You know how I know that's a good house? It made me out of, it made me have to shit just now, right? When you peep a nice bath, I don't know if that's relatable. When you peep a nice bathroom, you just got to take a fucking shit. Oh my God, I would poop in this bathroom for sure.
$1,000 in marble tiles, and $125,000 in appliances, including four... No, sub dude, you're telling me you don't walk into a hotel room and you see the bathroom and you're like, damn, I gotta poop now. Sub-Zero refrigerators, two Wolf grills, three washers and dryers, two Miel dishwashers, and a $250,000 deck. But the main features are heated floors and driveway. What's the biggest thing you would want at a house? If you had, if you had unlimited money... What's the biggest thing you want for your home? I would want a view. That's all. That's honestly all I care about. Just some crazy shit, right? A porch where I could sit in a chair and just have zero thoughts. You ever have, z you ever have a moment where you have zero thoughts? It's so nice. Where, you're, where your mind isn't racing and you're just kind of sitting there and you're like, damn. Like, I'm not thinking about anything. You'll have one of those moments, and it's always when you're looking at a nice view, right? You'll appreciate the view if you sit there long enough. At some point, you'll just think about literally nothing, and you'll just sit there, and you'll just exist, and it's so nice. Perfect for long New England winters. Now that's sick, an underground Saint mansion. St. Switzerland, is home to some of the most opulent houses on the planet. One house in particular looks extremely modest from the outside, but boasts eight layers of subterranean space and a price tag of $185 million. Ah! Ah! This castle was- 185 mil. How many people can buy that? Like a thousand? Like uh, how many people have, not just have 185 mil, have 185 mil to spend? Designed to make a billionaire's jaw drop, luxury real estate broker and listing agent Sonata Adzem tells Secret Lives. Oh yeah, she's she's gonna fucking dick ride the shit out of this mansion. You know why? Because when she sells that fucking mansion, she's gonna make five million dollars. Because she's the fucking real estate agent. ...of the super rich. Hidden behind the estate's relatively modest stone and glass facade, the winter getaway houses seven floors centered so around a... Ma literally my Minecraft base? ...massive six-sided staircase, which I would be really scared that I'd fall to my death. In my own house. And that's not a normal fear to have. ...winter getaway houses seven floors centered around a massive... Seven floors, and you could just fall to your death. ...as a feat of engineering. It shows no visible support beams. Every breakfast feels opulent in the mansion's egg-shaped breakfast nook, where the walls are adorned with 24 karat gold. A custom-made egg sculpture- Like, why? Like, it's just- it's just shit to add on to the price. Like, dude, you- I, I don't need that. I- even if I was a billionaire, I'd be like, I don't want that. I'm just wasting money now. The only people that want this aren't people that were broke and then got rich, or middle class and then got rich, or slightly rich and then got rich. The people that want that and like the fact that there's 24 karat gold on the fucking walls are people that were born rich and their great, 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 great grandfather was fucking rich too. Dollars hangs from the ceiling. The subterranean floors beneath the master suite house a wine cellar and a home theater worth $1.3 million. But the true star is the ski den. Home theater's pretty sick though. Where the estate's billionaire owner has ski in and ski out access to a private chairlift. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Hold up. Show me this bitch. A South Florida home valued at $8.5 million. All right. All right. All right. All right. Not, I, I don't want to say not too expensive. Not too expensive in comparison to the other homes. It was a vast portion of its worth to one of the most impressive game rooms oh, on Earth. So the sick. whopping 6,000 square foot room is enough to keep you entertained for years. The room features a two-lane bowling alley, ski... Oh, stop with the bowling. Stop with the bowling. Right? I know. Yeah, would it be nice to have a bowling alley? Like, why do they always hype that shit up? Like, if I'm going... Like, yeah, that's fun. Cool, a bowling alley. Like, I'd rather have other stuff, though. Ski ball's pretty sick. Ski ball arcade game, a claw machine grabber game. Uh, I don't want to say. Oh, all right. Now I'm actually. You know, when I heard, when I saw game room, I was assuming it would be video game. Isn't it kind of stupid to have arcade games in your house, like a claw game? Because you already own everything in the game. 
in the claw. Those are all yours, right? It's not like you don't own them and you're trying to obtain them. Pinball machines, a racing car Pinball and motor. Pinball machines is still cool. Cycle game system, golf simulator, a racquetball court, movie theater, and full concession stand. There's also a game machine with 200 classic games from the 80s and 90s, including Pac-Man. People feel like they can have the home of their dreams, but they're really secure, the architect said. They also like the fact that it's not a golf course community. Other features of the estate include four bedrooms, five full and one half baths, an office, custom gym, wine room, and living room with a floor-to-ceiling granite fireplace. Outside I feel like home gyms are demotivating now. I, I know that's kind of backwards logic, but when you have a home gym, it's not like as much of an activity to go and work out, right? Like when you have a gym membership, you're like, all right, I got to go lift. There's a bunch of people there. It's like they're all motivating you all together. But when, you're, when your gym is just in your in your fucking basement, it's not as big of a thing to be like, okay, I got to go work out. Pool with a waterfall and a full summer kitchen, not to wow. mention 300 feet of lake frontage. In addition, the home is near to a shopping center, movie theater, and other conveniences. Dinosaur house. With 12,500 square feet of indoor space and another 10,000 of outdoor decking, this Beverly Hills mansion has plenty of room to spread out. That's lucky for the largest of its residents, a 150 million year old Allosaurus worth over $1.5 million. Developer Give me a plastic one. I'm fine with it. For Tim Ralston incorporated the fossil because he saw an increasing- That's sick? Yeah, I'm not spending 1.5 mil on a fucking dinosaur bone. Number of on-the-market digs featuring distinct centerpieces. He admits though it's that- It's cool. Okay, chat, y'all are saying that's sick as fuck. How many times are you going to look at that? If you buy this house, you're going to walk past that dinosaur and at some point you're not even going to pay attention to that fucking thing. You're going to stop giving an actual shit about it. You're going to look at it one time. You're going to be like, damn, that's a dinosaur. Was not his idea. My first thought was no. It took a little convincing. He tells Rob Report, but the buyer wants a home that has everything. And this is a phenomenal museum quality piece. Everyone asks if it's real. Ralston found the piece via a private collector. It's also available for purchase separately from the home. The $55 million home comes with five bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a games room with multiple televisions and a pool table fitness studio, and a deluxe chef's kitchen with mahogany- what, what world would you need six TVs? Like, what are you watching other than sports? Kitchen with mahogany cabinets, Miele appliances, and two Armani Pietra marble benches. Six the friends gaming at once? Yeah, and all the fucking- You're gonna have Call of Duty, Rocket League, Fortnite, Minecraft, and all these other games playing their audio at once. You're just gonna hear- Kill streak. Alicata porcelain clad steam room allows access to an outdoor deck with a hot tub enclosed by bamboo plants. And the temperature controlled 600 bottle wine wall is great for those who love a tipple. There's also yeah, a. They always got so much fucking wine. How much wine is a motherfucker gonna drink? Wall is great for those who love a tipple. There's also a large 12 seater home theater with reclining chairs, a marble fireplace in the lounge room, and a home bar made from rare Porto gold marble. Solar powered house. Yeah, we're going to skip through that one. It's literally just going to be a house with solar panels. Wow, how cool. Wow. Wow. Californian abode. This $4 million home features its own spa, wave room, movie room, elevator, and office with unique leather flooring with astonishing views and its own personal infinity pool and lake. This home truly has every feature imaginable. It is within two miles of two 20 acre parks and there is no end to the recreation That's activities. That's a sick ass view. That's the best house yet. It's within striking distance in case you weren't already convinced. Dude, look at that fucking view. It features 9,000 square feet. Six and it's big as hell bedrooms and eight bathrooms with a oh my God. smart home system you can control the temperature lights pool security and entertainment systems with a touch of a button That's all sick. of the furniture is custom built meaning See, that this is the shit i would buy if i was a billionaire this mansion is truly one of a kind in case you have guests staying the night there's a separate guest house so they can be comfortable and maintain their privacy the kitchen is outfitted with double ovens double sinks and two dishwashers to account for a huge number of people sharing the space at the same time though it hasn't yet been sold this is one of the most luxurious homes on the market and all it's all right chat somebody drop a five million dollar dono so i could buy this house available to anyone with a spare four million all right chat let me get a fucking million gifted subs and dollars laying around all right, chat. Somebody, you know, somebody dropped two million gifted subs so I can buy that house. 
All right, real quick, chat. Somebody, yo, Mr. Beast, drop a quick, drop a quick five mil dono on me. Jeez.